Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're doing a little career of Jim Bob Louder. And it is uh, NASCAR Heat 3. I know it's not the latest NASCAR Heat version, but I'm having fun with it. NASCAR Heat 3, I picked it up for a discounted price, like 19 bucks or something like that. Maybe it was only maybe it was 15 even. I can't remember. So today we're doing the Freightliner 100. It happens to be our first race under contract with Queen City Racing. So we have a team. We're driving the number eight car for Queen City Racing, and we are underway here at the Freightliner 100 in Vegas. And we're going to skip ahead here to lap number 30. We're still holding on to the 11th spot, and that is where we started. Actually, we may have started 12th. I didn't see. But anyway, we've got Davidson in front of us. It's Brady Davidson becoming a little bit of a rival for us trying to find a way to get past Davidson move into the tenth spot and we do on the inside here it's lap number 32 of 100 and we're in the dirt the extreme dirt tour and uh, we are during this season we will be getting hot seat offers to participate in the craftsman truck series which will be fun. It'll be fun to race on pavement. I haven't done much of that with NASCAR Heat 3. I've done a couple of races just uh, messing around with NASCAR cars just to get a feel for it. But obviously nothing extensive because I've concentrated on this career of Jim Bob Louder here. Now we've got to get through the Dirt Series before we get anything uh, towards the uh, NASCAR Series. All right, we're in lap number 44. We're still holding on to the 10th spot and haven't had a whole lot of action in the last little bit. Spent a lot of time by ourselves. But we come up to a group of cars here. We have the ninth place car, that is Brooks, in front of us along with a couple of others. They're racing three wide ahead of us. They get Brooks gets a little bit squirrely up there in the middle. And we come down on the inside. We've got a car high at Schneider. With 55 laps to go, we're gonna cut inside and race three wide for a second here. We are on the bottom. And we are into ninth place. And we're looking at McCabe, the 13 car. We're going to cut down inside the 21st place car. We are still in ninth place, though. Making our way around the inside of this track. 12th place is Britain. We are about to lap him. So. Not a lot of danger of falling below 12th. Oh, there's still, what, 45 laps to go, 44 laps to go. Here is Goodman. He is actually a teammate of ours, so it would probably be nice not to, like, slam into his bumper or anything like that. we got to stay on the good side of our teammates. Everybody else I don't really care that much about, whether they're friends or enemies. I don't care. I don't care. I want to win races, but I do want to remain friends with uh, our teammates, that's for sure. As we've got Davidson, he is kind of being a douche there. He comes up on the inside and taps us a little bit. He is in 11th place. And we had lapped him too. So we are seeking out the number 8 place car. Haven't seen it in a bit here. We're in lap number 58. Davidson's on the inside. He's running pretty fast, so we might see Davidson again. He could. Uh, he, he's got enough time to, to uh, catch up to us. If he keeps going well and something happens, obviously, to us, anything could happen on this dirt track. We're in ninth place, and there is the eighth place car. That is Baker Dillon. And uh, she started at the back, I believe, after uh, she had something mechanically. I don't know. She did, did something. I can't remember what it was. But she uh, she qualified in, like, seventh, and then they sent her to the back for some type of, uh, some type of issue. But she's an aggressive driver, and she is up to the 8th place spot now. And we are 3 wide. We hit kind of a soft spot in the dirt there. Lap number 61, and we have passed Baker Dillon. She is still uh, right on our tail, as you can see in that tiny little round mirror on the left. And now we've got 
Martin. J. J. Martin, I think it was. J. Martin to the right of us. And he's not he's never in a really fast car. 65th lap here. At the Freightliner 100, and there is Baker Dillon. She just got past us again into the eighth spot. And uh, she actually runs it up into the bumper of Sheridan. Sheridan's our, a teammate of ours. So maybe she's doing some blocking of Baker Dillon for us. Try to keep Baker Dillon in our sights. Thank you, Sheridan. She is in the, uh, Sheridan's in the 24th place car. And Baker Dillon finally gets around her, but she slowed Baker Dillon down a little bit for us. Thank you to Sheridan. So Sheridan and Goodman, and uh, we haven't seen him yet, but DeFazio is our other teammate for Queen City Racing. We're in the 67th lap, 33 laps to go. Oh, we just get into the side of that car just a little bit. We check our rear view. Got a little bit of space, but Baker Dillon's getting out in front of us, and she's going to be tough to catch. She's an aggressive driver, as you will find out as this series goes along. And, oh, we got somebody up on two wheels up there. I don't know who that was up there in the blue car. Here is Laguerre. He is the eighth place car now. I don't know where Baker, Baker Dillon is. I don't know if she fell back or I think that might be her clear out in front of us. But Laguerre is the eighth place car and we just moved past him and now we've got Ratner, the seventh place car right in front of us. We're in lap number 78, 22 laps to go in this race. We're looking at a possible top 10 finish in our first race with Queen City Racing. There's our teammate Goodman ahead of us in the 17th place car. As we cut inside Goodman, we are going to hit lap number 80 here in a second. And we are going to be in 8th place as we reach the final 20 laps. So Ratner is still or uh, Ratner still in front of us. There is Scott, the leader, and Scott gets up on two wheels, but is able to recover. Wilson in front of us now. There we've got Scott right in our sights, and Aubrey Scott. She's the first place car right now. She got up on two wheels, and she is. Oh man, that was a nice move by her. She just went through two lanes of traffic. There we are still right on her tail. We've got the sixth place car Baker Dillon in front of us. We're in seventh. And we're going to try to keep following the leader here, Aubrey Scott, and see if she can't propel us ahead of Baker Dillon. We're still in seventh. Baker Dillon is still up on the left, right with Aubrey Scott. And so we are now nearly three wide, but we're going to fall back just a little bit. Baker Dillon, two wide with Aubrey Scott. Maybe we can get those two Dillon. We get in through on the inside of Baker Dillon. Lap number 89. We are into sixth place. Baker Dillon behind us. And we just went past the leader, Aubrey Scott, but we are a lap behind, at least a lap behind, maybe more. And we're in sixth place. Now we've got Ackerman in our sights. We are on lap number 93. And Ackerman is up there on two wheels going around the inside of Brooks. We're in sixth place, a top five finish maybe? We've got Ackerman right there. We could possibly do it. Lap number 94. As we wind down this race, the Freightliner 100, our first is an actual legit member of a team. And here is Brooks on the right side. He's the 10th place car. We're going to lap him again. Six laps to go. And we're in sixth place. We've got the fifth place car up ahead of us. But Ackerman, he's fast. hes I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him. He just goes inside of goalie there. As we hit lap number 96, five laps to go. Wilson right in front of us. Ackerman, the fifth place car, is in front of him. That's who we are trying to catch here. A top five finish would be pretty sweet in our first race. I'll take six. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to do anything crazy and fall out of sixth place. But fifth place would be awesome. Here's Ackerman. In our sights, we are staying within striking distance with three laps to go here. We're on lap number 97. Ackerman still moving along the inside of the track. He gets past Martin. And now we hit lap number 98. Two more to go. Ackerman right in front of us. And we are we are white knuckling it here at the finish. Try to get a top five finish with Ackerman in front of us. As we hit it. Oh, we get into the wall a little bit. That could hurt. We maintain control though. That did nick us up, I'm sure. And Ackerman is still right in front of us. We are on lap number 99. We're going to get to the inside. We hit some soft stuff. And we're in lap number 99. We're in the fifth place now. Ackerman takes it back. And oh my gosh, that was the finish. Ackerman 
took back fifth place as we crossed the finish line. So we finished in sixth. Not bad. Hugh Ackerman in fifth. C.J. Boswell in fourth. But Brady Lewis in third. Elliot Henderson in second. Aubrey Scott in first. Uh, our teammate there, Anthony DeFazio, is in 18th. Dan Goodman, our other teammate, was in 17th. And uh, our third teammate was Lauren Sheridan, and she finished dead last in 24th place. So we were, uh, we were the top finisher in our team. We earned $21,000 from the Freightliner 100. An extra uh, 1,450 team payout from Queen City Racing. And the point standings after one race, obviously, we are in sixth. Jim Bob Louder, the number eight car. As you get a good look at it there, it's silver. Silver with uh, blue on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, Michelle Baker Dillon started in 24th. She finished in 7th. Eli Libson started in 10th and finished in 22nd. So that is it for the Freightliner 100. Aubrey Scott is your winner. We finish with a top 10 finish at 6th place. And up next, we actually have a hot seat that we will do in the Craftsman Truck Series here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming. <laughs> 